I read quite a lot of books, but I don't read a huge number of self-help books. But one of them, one of the self-help books that I've read recently is one that I have mentioned before and I think I've made a video about before, or at the very least I've mentioned it as one of my recommended books on my recommended list over the last while. But recently I've had good reason to thank it basically for uh, helping me in a particular situation and I'm not a particular user or reader of self-help books but in this particular instance I have concrete evidence of the success of putting into action what I learned in this self-help book. Let me explain. Firstly the name of the book is called The Chimp Paradox and I would strongly recommend it. It's written by a gentleman in the United States, or in the United Kingdom rather, he's a professor in some of the universities in England, I think in the north of England, Professor Stephen Peters. It's called The Chimp Paradox, and it's basically a way, a methodology of managing your mind and managing your responses. And he draws the, or he explains how the mind is controlled in or divided perhaps into two different sections there's the emotional reactive responsive part which relates to our descent from the chimp and there is the more logical thoughtful intentional part and i know myself from my own particular personality and my own characteristics and so on that I would have from time to time an inclination to let the chimp out. When I say let the chimp out, I mean react or respond in a very primal, very illogical, very emotional way. In other words, to put it mildly and to put it bluntly, I would from time to time lose the head, spit the dummy out and say, screw you, I'm doing this, or you can go and get another solicitor or whatever. But recently I was doing a conveyance for a lady and it's dragged on for a while and on more than one occasion, on two occasions at least, and perhaps three, such were the nonsensical, illogical demands of this lady that I had on two occasions at least, perhaps three, drafted an email to her to the effect that this is bullshit, I'm not putting up with this anymore, I'm not wasting any more time, I don't want your money, you're not getting my time, please get another solicitor to act for you and I'm just going to send back the contracts to the other solicitor and that'll be the end of it. On both occasions when I had the email written, I kept it in draft format for a few minutes, maybe half an hour, maybe an hour. And on each occasion, I recognized that the chimp was out. And I recognized that really the chimp had taken over and had written these emails. And that if I could just calm down and perhaps sleep on it, then I might make a different decision the next day. Well, I did that. On both occasions, I actually deleted the draft emails that I had written and now, a few weeks later, thankfully, the whole thing, the whole deal, is actually coming together. And it's going to come to a successful conclusion. I'm going to buy the property on behalf of this particular client. She'll be happy enough, hopefully. I'll be happy enough. And I'll have got my fee for my work and for my professional services and so on. And, you know, the fee for a conveyance, without going into details, you're looking at anything, I suppose, between 1250 plus VAT and perhaps two and a half grand plus VAT, depending on the value of the property. But a good average is probably 1250 to 1500 plus VAT, plus outlays, plus perhaps miscellaneous expenses and so on. But that's a fee that's coming together that I'm going to get paid for. I'm going to get paid for my work. The whole thing is coming together nicely. And it's actually only coming together because of what I learned in that book, The Chimp Paradox, 
by Professor Steve Peters. And it's nice when you read a lot of books and you mightn't read a lot of self-help books, but it's nice when you read a self-help book and you actually learn something from it and you can actually not just learn something from it, but put it into action, put it into action in your daily life because then you really do feel that you have learnt something and you've put um, into action what you've learnt and you've got great value out of the book. And this is one occasion when the whole plan, the whole plan about getting the chimp under control, recognising the impulsive primal responses that from time to time we can all be subject to, which is essentially the chimp paradox. And that's what that book is about. It's about a mind management situation, but it's about a mind management methodology, which in this occasion has served me very, very well and has allowed me to get paid for my work and have a happy client and um, not spit the dummy out, get the chimp under control, get the chimp back into the box or into his cage and go and do the business and act like a professional. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. I'll leave a link down below perhaps to the Chimp Paradox. You can get it on Amazon or wherever. I listened to the audio version and it was excellent. I think it was narrated by Professor Steve Peters himself. But I think for my own reference, I'm going to get it on Kindle now again. And I'm going to have it as a Kindle book as well. And I might even get it on paperback because it's a book that of all of the self-help books I might have read down through the years, this one I can see actual tangible results from. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. I hope you like it. If you do, I would appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot.